so what we are talking about is now myocardium generally all the myocardium is classified as myocardium is classified as general myocardium which is mostly atrial and ventricular myocardium which is concerned with the contract contractility function most of the atrial myocardium and ventricular myocardium they are having main function of contraction so that blood from atria go to the ventricle and when ventricular contractility is blood from the ventricles goes to the main outlet arteries then there is specialized myocardium myocardial cells these are modified myocardial cells there are two types of specialized myocardial cells some have specialized they have special specializations in electrical properties right some specialized myocardial cells which have special electrical properties for example some of these cells can act act as pacemakers some of them can act as electrical current conduction pathways and then some of the specialized myocardial cells work as myocardial endocrine cells the most important hormone which is produced by the myocardial cell is atrial natriuretic peptide have you heard of it atrial natriuretic peptide what really happens when in your your total blood volume is too much when you have for example right now if i start giving you very rapidly intravenous fluids right and your blood volume become too much then what will happen that venous return to the heart will be more or less more so atria will stretch out whenever atria is stretch out atrial some of the atrial myocardial cells release atrial natriuretic peptide again what really happens whenever your body is fluid overloaded especially the blood volume is too much right the venous return to the right heart and the left heart both become too much and when atria is distended or stretched out right then certain atrial cells release atrial natriuretic peptide now what is the function of atrial natriuretic peptide atrial natriuretic peptide number one it will go to kidney and in the kidney suppose this is nephron urine forming tubes right and this is afferent arteriole here are glomerular capillaries and this is efferent arteriole afferent arteriole and efferent arteriole number one atrial natriuretic peptide work on efferent arteriole and it become constricted when efferent arteriole become constricted then blood is coming to the glomerular capillaries but cannot leave the capillaries easily pressure in glomerular capillaries become high and fluid will more rapidly go to the nephron so we say glomerular filtration rate is increased so what ANP is doing atrial natriuretic peptide that whenever there is fluid overload in the vascular system venous return to heart become more both atria stretch out and when there is more, more stretching of the atria they release atrial natriuretic peptide it does many function one function is and end result is it will expel the water and sodium out of the body how it constricts the efferent arterioles so pressure in glomerular capillaries become high and more glomerular filtrate is made so fluid will pass through tube more rapidly so less fluid will be reabsorbed and more fluid will be lost into urine secondly it also act on the medullary part of nephrons <coughs> and reduces the sodium reabsorption so what really happens the filtered fluid along with extra sodium will be lost into urine because ex excessive sodium is lost into urine we say this hormone is producing natriuresis and because water follows that so secondary to natriuresis this hormone produces diuresis this is number one function number two this hormone from juxta glomerular operators atrial natriuretic peptide reduces the production of renin if kidney is producing less renin then yes who can tell me what will happen who knows the renin angiotensin aldosterone system renin normally convert a substance coming from liver from liver what is coming angiotensinogen 
तो रेनिन नॉर्मली कन्वर्ट एंजियोटेंसिन और जिन इनटू एंजियोटेंसिन वन एंजियोटेंसिन वन व्हेन इट पासेस थ्रू द लंग्स लंग्स के पिलरी इट कन्वर्ट इनटू एंजियोटेंसिन टू नाउ लिसन केयरफुल है व्हेन एट्रियल एट्रियोज्यूरेटिक पेप्टाइड इज मोर इट रिड्यूसेस द रेनिन प्रोडक्शन सो कन्वर्जन ऑफ एंजियोटेंसिनोजन इनटू एंजियोटेंसिन वन बिकम लेस देन कन्वर्जन ऑफ एंजियोटेंसिन वन इनटू एंजियोटेंसिन टू बिकम लेस इन द ब्लड एंजियोटेंसिन टू इज लेस Angiotensin 2 has many functions, but two functions are most important. Angiotensin 2. Number one function is by its name, angiotensin. It produces tension in the vessels. So when angiotensin 2 is less, right? Less angiotensin 2 cannot constrict the vessel. The vessels dilate. And when veins will dilate, venous return to heart will be less. Is that right? Number two, angiotensin 2 not only will relax the blood vessels, plus it will reduce normal one of the function of the angiotensin 2 is that from adrenal gland you know adrenal gland cortex it produces aldosterone so when angiotensin 2 is less then aldosterone is less one of the function of aldosterone is that from this part of the nephron it help in sodium and water reabsorption so when aldosterone is less then aldosterone mediated salt and water reabsorption cannot be done and uh, this will be lost into urine. So in this way, what angiotensin, uh, atrial natriuretic peptide is doing, that it is produced by the, <coughs> released by the atrial cells into circulation when uh, it, both atria are distended with excessive amount of fluid. So they should orchestrate those biological actions, we should deload the sodium load from the body, they expel the sodium and water out of the body. One way is that they simply go to the efferent arteriole, construct them, so there are more glomerular filtration, most loss of the fluid and sodium into urine. Number two, they inhibit the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. So aldosterone mediated, salt and water cannot be retained, so salt and water is lost. Number three, uh, atrial natriuretic peptide inhibit the release of the anti-diuretic hormone. You know anti-diuretic hormone is released by the posterior pituitary. So anti-diuretic hormone become less. What is the normal function of anti-diuretic hormone? Normal function of anti-diuretic hormone is it is anti-diuresis. Normal function of anti-diuretic hormone is it reabsorbs the water. It helps in reabsorption of water. When in, uh, atrial natriuretic peptide reduces the release of anti-diuretic hormone an antidiuretic hormone become less, then these cell will not reabsorb the water because here the water reabsorption is antidiuretic hormone dependent. So ex extra water will be lost. In this way, whenever atria are over stretched, right, or over distended with the high volume of the venous return, they simply let the sodium and water get out of the body through the kidneys so that total blood volume become less and venous return to atria become normal.